uh, from many places in Europe. I was brought up in France and England where I studied economics and now I have a farm in Greece called Mazi Farm where we do regenerative agriculture. The main uh, drive to, to do this project was in sat trying to look for a, a job that was, that was going to connect me to nature, a job that was going to um, enable me to work with my hands and to do something practical but something that also made sense on a bigger level and I, for me agriculture was the way to put these two together. So Mazi Farm has, has two aspects to it. The first one is to create a farm, a commercial farm that produces figs, pomegranates, uh, almonds and pistachios in a regenerative way. And the second part of the project is uh, where the knowledge that we gather, the knowledge that we've, we create, um, the techniques that we've managed to make work here in, the, in our Mediterranean context can be shared in the form of a knowledge hub. We're working so much with trees because nature's created this incredible technology called a tree in order to create habitat for animals, in order to um, create clouds in order to cool down the environment, in order to heat up the environment when it's cold, in order to capture carbon and put it into the soil, in order to create soil so other organisms can live, in order to feed other organisms. And like the tree is like the basis. I hope that we'll be able to uh, inspire local uh, people, inspire uh, young folk from Athens that have land here to see an opportunity in agriculture, to see also a beauty in coming back to the village and living and living here. The main issue at the moment is, is knowledge. We are trying to do something that's relatively new, that hasn't been done very much in the Mediterranean area and in such difficult conditions. It's how can we get the right knowledge and context specific knowledge to be, to be successful. If we manage to learn how to make trees grow and how to uh, create beautiful produce and how to sell, sell them properly, um, then you know, that's a big achievement. If you want to start a, a project kind of like what we're doing here, the first thing is to find people that you trust, who you can work with, because it's impossible to do it on your own and study, study, study. Go visit places that are doing something similar, go find out what works out there, uh, get experience, study, and then get started.